like Chanel See on both sides like Chanel It's really you on my mind What's good YouTube? It's your boy Kyber Watson back with another news video for you guys today And in today's news, Spongebob Rehydrated Special Edition gets announced Pokemon Sword and Shield showcases Japanese trailer And Persona 5 Scramble debuts trailer and release date So without further ado, let's get right into the news Topic 1. Spongebob Squarepants Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated Special Edition Announced Publisher THQ Nordic and developer Purple Lamp Studios have announced the shiny and the fun special editions for Spongebob Squarepants Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. Get the details below. The shiny edition will cost $149.99. It comes with a copy of the game, an 8 inch to 20 centimeter Spongebob figurine with a golden spatula and flexible tongue, wall stickers, 6 lithographs, Spongebob Squarepants tennis socks, and you can pre-order it here on Amazon.com for Xbox One, Switch, and PC. And for Amazon UK, you can get it for the PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Switch, and PC. The fun edition will cost $299.99 and it comes with a copy of the game, an 8 inch to 20 inch centimeter Spongebob Squarepants figurine with golden spatula and flexible tongue, 7 inch to 18 centimeter figurine of Patrick, an 8 inch to 20 centimeter figurine of Sandy, wall stickers, a set of cheeky key rings, six lithographs spongebob squarepants tennis socks and you can pre-order it on amazon.com for the playstation 4 xbox one pc and the switch and on amazon.com for xbox one switch and pc spongebob squarepants battle for bikini bottom rehydrated is due out for the playstation 4 xbox one and pc in 2020 watch the trailer for the special editions below so you're seeing the trailer for the spongebob rehydrated battle for bikini bottom special editions on the screen right now and i gotta tell you these special editions look really cool it comes with some cool figurines the fun edition is going to be for about 300 bucks you can get a bunch more stuff with that you get a patrick figurine spongebob and sandy cheeks with the 149 dollar one that's the shiny edition it only comes with a spongebob figurine but that's still good in my eyes so i don't know maybe you guys if you want to pick up a special edition of spongebob rehydrated battle for bikini bottom you can do that just take your pick you can pre-order it on amazon.com and you can pick whatever one you want to pick let me know if you guys are going to be picking up spongebob square pants battle for bikini bottom rehydrated special edition when it comes out for the playstation 4 xbox one nintendo switch and pc sometime later in 2020 down below in the comments topic two pokemon sword and shield japanese tv spot the pokemon company has released the new japanese tv spot for pokemon sword and shield pokemon sword and shield are due out for the switch on november 15th watch the tv spot below so on the screen i don't have the trailer for you guys to watch but i do have the final scene in the trailer because Nintendo and Game Freak like to copyright claim videos for showing their trailers. So that's why I don't have the trailer for you guys up right now. But if you guys want to see the trailer for yourselves, I have a link down below in the description for you guys to check it out for yourselves. But the trailer, I saw it earlier on Twitter. It's a really, really cool trailer. It went from the Game Boy Pocket era all the way to the Switch era. And it transformed the Pixel Pokemon into the... 3d pokemon which you're going to see on the screen in the trailer of what their models are going to be for pokemon sword and shield which is what i think is really really cool but pokemon sword and shield comes out for the nintendo switch on november 15th which is next month it's almost here actually so i'm going to be picking up pokemon shield for the switch when i get a new switch in november um can't wait to play that game Pokemon is one of my most favorite games of all time. I can't wait to see what Pokemon Sword and Shield is going to have in the store for us Pokemon fans and us Nintendo lovers. So let me know what you guys think about the, the Japanese TV spot for Pokemon Sword and Shield down below in the comments. If you're going to be picking up Pokemon Sword or Shield on November 15th when the games do drop. And let me know what your starter Pokemon is going to be because I'm Team Sabo all the way. It's my second time picking a water type starter throughout my 27 years of playing pokemon so let me know what your starter is down below in the comments let me know what version of pokemon you're going to pick it up is it going to be pokemon shield or pokemon sword and let me know what you guys think about the trailer also down below in the comments final topic 
Persona 5 Scramble The Phantom Strikers launches February 20 of 2020 in Japan. Debut trailer de details and screenshots. Persona 5 Scramble The Phantom Strikers will launch for PlayStation 4 and Switch on February 20 of 2020 in Japan for 8,800 yen. Atlas has announced a 13,800 yen treasure box edition will be also available. Here are the latest details on the game via the new its newly launched website. An action RPG featuring a completely new story. Persona 5, which has sold more than 2.7 million copies worldwide, makes its long-awaited action RPG debut on PlayStation 4 and Switch. This is a completely new story set after the events of Persona 5. The game is a collaborative effort between the Persona team and Koei Tecmo's Omega Force. The Phantom Thieves' journey throughout Japan begins. Half a year after the ending of Persona 5, the Phantom Thieves of Hearts get together for summer vacation, but get wrapped up in a new incident. Mysterious cases are occurring all over Japan. Palaces. The cognitive worlds of warped adults have returned. Donning their disguises once again, the Phantom Thieves set out to resolve this new incident. So, Persona 5 Scramble, the Phantom Strikers, is a Musou type Persona game. So, the Musou Warrior games are pretty much Dynasty Warriors influenced, but sometimes they put other characters into these games so it's like dynasty warriors but with persona they did it for one piece they did it for fire emblem and they did it for zelda and a bunch of other games also but this one is going to be really good because it's persona 5 and persona 5 was one of my favorite games of all time when the game came out it's my second favorite game of all time now because Xenoblade Chronicles 2 is my favorite now, but this game looks really, really good. You're seeing the trailer for Persona 5 Scramble, the Phantom Strikers on the screen right now, and I gotta say, this game looks absolutely phenomenal. Can't wait to play this game when it comes out for the Nintendo Switch. This is the Japanese release, February 20th, 2020, so we're gonna have to wait like maybe another year for the North American release for us Westerners to play the game or whatever, but that's fine. I mean, I guess if I still get it for the Switch, even though the Switch is on region locked, I can still probably play the game on February 20th, 2020 if I wanted to because the Switch isn't region locked. But I think I still might wait for the official Western release of the game, which will probably be sometime around 2021 when we do get our hands on the game. But this game looks really really cool i can't wait to see what the new story of persona 5 is i know that we're going to have another persona 5 game coming out which is persona 5 royal but that's going to be more of like the vanilla style persona game which is you know the turn-based combat this one is going to be more action rpg based and I really can't wait to get my hands on this game and play this game for the first time and see what the new story is, what the new character is, and what all the new palaces are going to be when this game does drop for the Nintendo Switch and PlayStation 4 in Japan on February 20th, 2020, and sometime in 2021 for North America and Europe. But let me know what you guys think about the trailer that's on the screen right now, and if you're going to be picking up this game when it does come out for the PlayStation 4 and Nintendo Switch down below and also let me know if you guys have ever played persona 5 and if you're gonna be picking up persona 5 r for the ps4 when that comes out sometime in 2020 also down below in the comments all right so with that being said that's all the news i have for you guys today so let's make sure you guys like the video share the video with your friends your family make sure you guys let me know what you guys think about spongebob the rehydrated trilogy getting collector's editions down below in the comments let me know what you guys think about the pokemon sword and shield japanese trailer being released down below in the comments and also let me know what you guys think about persona 5 scramble debut trailer and release date down below in the comments as always i'm your boy copy watson i have another video out for you guys sometime in the near future if you guys want to check on me and see what i'm doing every single day make sure you guys follow me on my twitch account my twitch is twitch.tv slash kaiba watson a link for that will be down below in the description for you guys to come and hang out with me i stream just about almost every day so if you guys want to you know keep it with me see what i'm doing on a daily basis i'm always over there streaming so make sure you guys Follow me over there, we can hang out, play some really cool video games and everything. When more news drops, I promise I will be 
doing my best to try and get it out to you guys as soon as possible. Life has just been kind of hectic and I've been focusing all of my time on Twitch, but I'm going to start back on YouTube. I'm going to try and get back on the YouTube grind for you guys and, you know, put out this really interesting news for you guys and everything. So let me know what you guys think about all the articles down below in the comments. Make sure you guys follow me on all of my social medias down below in the comments. Make sure you guys like the video, like I said, share it with your friends, your family, anybody who likes video game news, anybody who likes some of these topics also. As always, I'm your boy, Kyber Watson. Love you guys. I'm, I'm out. Peace.